Aha! I, Christian Doppler, have finally figured it out. There is a change in frequency due to the motion of a source or a receiver. I really hope they name this effect after me. <laughs> He was right. Christian and Doppler's hypothesis was right. The sound's pitch was higher than I made it before, and the sound's source moved towards me and lower when it went away from me, changing the sound. Thus, we should name it the Doppler effect. Hello class. This is the Doppler effect. Now right here, this is Patrick. This is the same car and three stages going by him. Now, back here, the sound waves from the car are dispersed, so he, he, so he can't hear them as well. But as the car moves closer and closer, it gets louder and louder until right here, it's the loudest. Now, as it moves away again, the sound waves aren't as um, close together, and they're more spaced apart, so he can't hear them as well. And that's why the Doppler effect works. The radar guns work by shooting out a uh, radar wave at a, at a certain speed. And then, and then it calculates the time that it takes for the wave to go from the radar gun, hit the gun, hit the car, and then come back. And it calculates all of that, and then it gives the officer how fast the car was going. The speed of sound at room temperature, you must, uh, every, at zero degrees Celsius, each degree it goes up, it goes 0.6 more. So at 20 degrees Celsius, which is usually the number, uh, the temperature of room degree, um, you just add 0 0.6, which you will get 340 or 340.6.